Hey everyone, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video we're going to dig a little bit into the command prompt and show you how to clear your DNS cache. Check it out. Before we jump into command prompt and actually start running the commands, I wanted to kind of give you guys a breakdown of what DNS or DNF servers actually do and how they play a part in this particular video. So a DNS stands for domain name server. And what that means is typically on a computer, when you type in a website such as google.com or yahoo.com, it doesn't understand what those letters are or what that URL means. What it does is it sends that information to a DNS server and that DNS server then will return to the computer what IP is attached to. So it's basically like a phone book in a digital or computer world. So I'm gonna bring up a quick little image here you can see that right here, what is the IP of foobar.com? So, and you can replace this with any type of website that you have. So you can insert yahoo.com or again, uh, Google or facebook.com. What it does is your computer sends that URL out or that, that name out to the DNS server here. And then the DNS server will return, oh, okay, that is attached to this specific IP. It'll send it back to the computer and then the computer will go ahead and load the actual website. So that's just a quick rundown of how DNS server works. And the thing is with cache on your computer is as you do that over time, your computer will save a local directory of different caches. So if you're running into some troubleshooting issues, you're having issues getting to a specific website, maybe they made some changes to the DNS and your computer's not picking it up. You can run this command I'm gonna show you here in just a moment and it will go through and clear that cache and give you a better chance of loading the correct website because it will be pulling a fresh information or it will re it will store a fresh cache of that specific IP and URL. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close that out and I'm going to go ahead and right click on the start menu and I forgot they replaced it. Uh, you can run this in PowerShell. You can go from PowerShell and go back into a command prompt uh, mode. In this case, I'm just going to type in, hit the start menu and type in CMD and you'll notice command prompt will pop up. I'll right click on that. I'm gonna run it as administrator. Typically with the IP uh, refresh or the config refresh, you don't need to be an admin, but it's always good to run it when you're doing stuff like this just to be safe. So again, the UAC will pop up. I'm gonna click yes. And you'll notice we'll have a little black window right here. It's got some text on it. And it's a very simple command and we're gonna do IP config space forward slash flush DNS. And then you're gonna hit enter. And you're gonna see, it'll say Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Basically what that means is it's gone through and it has cleared that local directory of all of the DNS that your, your local machine has actually stored. Again, to run that command, you can do IP config forward slash flush DNS. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you liked the video or found the video informative, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, question of the day, what kind of experience or commands have you ran in command prompt? Leave your answer in the comment section as well, and we will see you next time.